Alright guys, for today's video we have some more robot ratings to go through and first, once again we have Jonathan, I think he's a rendered fully completed version, or at least almost, of his robot. And you can see here that he has the, the piss nice hood which looks really nice with the, the poly on it. And he has uh, the four wheel drive for park, which some people you know are against and some people are for, so that's... Uh, that's that. Oh, and of course, he has these CADs in in Minecraft. And I think he mentioned to me that the the mod is called Block Printer. So I don't know if you guys want to see some, some Minecraft videos. I don't know. Interesting Minecraft videos. Maybe I can I can get into that, but <laughs> just let me know. But I'm gonna get this an A tier. Pretty pretty clean CAD and uh cool use of a minecraft mod importing i think anything that's like cad files whatever into into minecraft and they're able to import these minecraft or these vex cads into minecraft anyways forgot to put odon wheels put in that these are all are omni wheels put in that these are all omni wheels interesting okay solid start solid start i'm gonna give this one a, uh i'm gonna go to b tier solid start okay secret tier three tech I don't know if that's tier three tech. And also I don't think you need a uh, tier three in this new upcoming season. I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna rate that one. But this one. Waiting just waiting on plastic. Everything on the drive is done though. It's a very clean drive. I think we saw this in the previous video too. Um I like the the matte black and these nylon screws and also this but however I think you should angle you should probably like untighten the Untighten the standoff right and retighten it so you can angle this down a little bit so then uh the ball it would like it would make it so that the cubes or the blocks do roll out because right now it looks pretty pretty flat but if you can make it angle down then much easier for the, the balls to roll out also where's your triangle brace i mean i'm assuming that you have triangle brace later but you don't have it yet so but yeah overall this is really compact really nice form factor right you have these vertical motor mounts with the one by ones with the C channel, it's very, very nice. However, I don't think you need the, the ball bearings, especially on all four sides. Like maybe on just the back too, I, you can probably add ball bearings. We're well, not ball bearings, uh, just sprockets. You do a a 16 teeth sprocket and put chain over it if you want. And I think that spins just as well, if not better. And it is so much lighter. It is so much lighter, yeah. And then we get a bottom view of these motors. They don't look fully clicked in. I think maybe your shaft is too long, or at least maybe you want to untighten these shaft collars and make sure that you can fully press these motors in because it looks a little, little jank right now. You might get extra friction if you're not careful. But yeah, pretty pretty nice drive. It kind of reminds me of the of over under a lot now because uh, seeing these these um, six wheel drives with the the flexibles in the middle. But yeah, it looks very, it looks very nice. I'm gonna give this one a, a solid A tier as well. This is chassis. Look too long. How many holes is this? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, thirty, thirty. Yeah, just thirty. Or no, one, two. It's thirty-two because the two in the front. Okay, thirty-two. That's that's pretty long. I think that's way too long. I think thirty is kind of the max. So I'm gonna give this one a, a C tier. You want to cut it down to thirty. I uh, preferably I think twenty-eight is a really really solid length usually to aim for work in progress drivetrain i need to add odom pods to the drivetrain but this is just the start of the build first time being the main better of the team please give suggestions okay nice nice build i i think i think i like it mm, definitely like what's going on here with the with the back with the aligner however some teams or a lot of teams are saying that you need these aligners to be very long for it to actually work properly, so I don't know, I don't know how how else you can you can align. Maybe maybe with just a uh, I don't know. Maybe if you have like stuff on the outside, and you can maybe align that way. But I heard that these needs to be the triangles on the inside need to be very long for you to be able to align properly. I do think your direction is a little wide though. One, two, three, four, five, thirty wide. I think it's a little wide. I think a good width to go for is twenty twenty eight to twenty six. It's always a very nice width, like twenty eight long by 27 wide 
28 long by like 26 wide because i don't think these game elements are that thick this year so you can probably go for something mm -hmm. less wide and kind of target that uh more agility kind of style gameplay i think i'm gonna get this one to beats here pretty nice start but yeah i'm just saying like i think this game is gonna be a fast game so that's why here's my work in progress cad i'm also new uh front load center goal back load side goal i like that I like that so you know they have that tongue they have a little grabber mech on the front i'm guessing it's a maybe it's a passive i mean i don't see any sparkles on it yet but it's a it is a shaft so it might be might be active but anyways um besides that so it kind of comes around here and it go takes this route through so takes the front route through for the for the low for the medium ones and then it goes all the way through, through for the high ones i you know what i actually really like that because that means that like if you want to play the center goal right with a lot of you know that's where I think a lot of action is going to happen on the center goal, since there's two scoring goals in that on the center right. Then you can you know use the fast paced driving uh, with the center mm -hmm. with the the front, and you know you can still use the back. What and what's nice about this is you can store more more balls. You can store balls through the whole thing, and just run this backwards so you can eject it through the front if you need, right? So that's pretty nice, mm -hmm. and that really gives you a lot of you know a lot of ability to to store and score nice i think this is a pretty pretty nice uh like little change or not change but just a little add-on to like something that would be a hero bot right and i don't think you need all these rollers in the bottom i would remove them i think that adds too much friction i think you just run poly there and just like have mesh running all the way through i guess actually you might need yeah you actually might need this one to redirect the this it to the front but other than that i don't think you need the top ones but yeah, this is actually really nice. I'm gonna give this one an eight tier. I really think this would be a really easy and effective design this season. Anyways, on to our last one of today. Ying Sung something. Something. This is surely this is this is surely something. I don't know. I feel like I remember I think this is might be taken from one of the CADs from Speedcat as well. But it looks nice. I think uh just a pretty standard snail. Snail die snail design, and I think you can fit a pretty big backpack back here like a pretty big box for for those for those blocks i think this is pretty nice however i don't know what's going on up here this is a pretty large hood very very far hood so i don't i don't know what's going on but maybe this is is his explanations my actually might be because uh he doesn't want these like cubes to go fly like, go out maybe that's why so he's holding it above the whole thing and when it folds down it should fold cleanly down as well so maybe that's why it's pretty nice. I'm going to give this one an A tier as well. Nice.